On this morning, in mid-April, we went to Beaver Hill Bird Observatory, which is a 45-minute drive from Edmonton. I hoped to see some migrating birds, especially snow geese. Along the way, we saw a couple of Canada geese and some cattle resting in the field. Just east of Toefield, we drove down a couple of gravel roads and reached the gate. After driving through the gate, it was a short drive through a farm field to the small parking lot. So we're at the Beaver Hill Natural Area, hoping to see some snow geese. So we're down here in the parking lot, probably going to trail up along the side of the Along the east side, there was a view of the marsh, and I could hear geese and ducks in the distance, but couldn't see very many. Evidence of beavers were present along the forest's edge, and a beaver trail led to some well-traversed waterways. We continued on through the forest using a detour as one area was too muddy to walk through. The path then rejoined the main trail, but we still had mud patches. I was grateful for having worn my good hiking boots. We paused to look through the trees, and I could see the water had receded over time and left the marsh looking more like a field. We also found a goose egg along the trail. I'm not sure how it got there, but I'm sure there's an interesting story behind it. At a junction, we spotted one of the observatory's many bat yeah, boxes. Sure they're bat boxes. They don't need much space. Of course, I couldn't come to Beaver Hill and not show a beaver lodge. This was the Sora Pond. I could hear red-winged blackbirds around, but I didn't see any Soras. We reached the weir on the northeast tip of the area and listened to more blackbirds singing and geese honking. As we 
turned to leave, we were greeted with a sighting of another kind of white bird, whistling swans. We continued toward the observatory and found a well-made sign that had fallen from its signpost. Lyndon took a moment to pose, then we carefully put the sign back. The observatory was more of a staging area for educational events. By the observatory, we noticed a moose skull, evidence of some larger visitors to the area. While looking for the toilet, we came across a small cabin with bunk bits. After some searching, we found the toilet on the west side, behind the observatory, and down a small trail. As you can see, it was quite grand, with a soft seat, toilet paper box, hand sanitizer, and a good view. I also spotted a hairy woodpecker foraging on a tree. We continued on to the west side and reached the narrow gate to pass through and return to the parking lot. <laughs> Can't walk with your elbows out apparently. <laughs> As I gazed around, I spotted three white-fronted geese flying by. As always, thanks for watching.